Yo guys and welcome to North Station, it's your boy North back again with another gameplay from Tales of Zestiria. I really hope you guys enjoy this gameplay and I'll see you in the next one. That's... Well, that was easier than we thought. This looks like an auditorium of sorts for the believers. Sure looks like a small crowd. Can you tell me the names of the Seraphim who hold the utmost power, known as the Five Lords? Correct. Now, can you tell me the name of the last one? The Seraph who's worshipped here at the Shrine Church? Motelis! Motelis! <gasps> That's right! Motelis is the Seraph who has given the entire Glenwood Continent his blessing. The Seraph worshipped at the Shrine Church is Motelis? The Five Lords, huh? Big movers and shakers. I bet Mautelis would know something about how to stand against the Lord of Calamity. He's got to! Is he really all that? Well, he's the leader of the Five Lords, after all. You must be Sore. Welcome to the Roland's Church headquarters. I heard you were to visit. Please, come on in. more magnificent than I'd even imagined. The architecture definitely dates it to the height of the era of Asgard. Glad to see you're impressed, but don't let your guard down. This inscription concerns the trial of the shepherd and the spiritual powers he obtains upon clearing it. 
Could the spiritual powers be real? Bzz, 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 bzz. Be real, real bees. Oh, bees everywhere. Just, Just possibly. possibly. It's like the lettering's meant to tell us something. But it's all gibberish. It must be some kind of code. Well, it does involve sensitive info. Maybe there's a hint to crack the code somewhere. Hey, what does the big rock thing say? I'm afraid I'm not really sure. The inscription is written in some sort of cipher, and the key to interpreting it is handed down only from Pope to Pope. So, I guess we'll have to get the Pope to read it then, huh? Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. I don't feel so good. What is going on? It's a Hellion's domain. Just like when we fought Helldolf. They're alive, but... It's like they've been turned to stone. Going home already, Shepard? Huh? I am Cardinal Fortin of the Church of Rollins. This domain... is it yours? Ah, so you can still move. Why don't you lend me your powers? For the sake of the people, of course. They asked me the same thing in Highland. I hardly think myself the equal of a Philistine like Bartlow. Sounds like something a Philistine would say. Charming, but sticks and stones and so on, young lady. Ooh, she's good. I have but one wish. To see my empire overcome this tumultuous era of chaos. A task only possible if the people are united. But Rollins is far too expansive to unify the people through mere patriotism alone. Shepard, do you know exactly what it is that the state has used for eons to keep an entire country in line? Is it... faith? Yes, faith. It is the belief in their own salvation that inspires in people the greatest sense of unity when they band together against outsiders who share different values. Meaning that my church itself should serve as the cornerstone for all of Roland's. Maybe in your mind. It is but the vision of one who would guide the people. With the name and power of the Shepherd, more people than ever can be brought to salvation. Then you should cooperate with the Knights. Wouldn't that really be what's best for everyone? I would welcome their efforts if they would simply bend to my will and do as I command. Even if they are a pack of loutish meatheads who can't figure out that their Pope abandoned them. Wait a minute, the Pope just ran away? You didn't have him locked up? I am not a street thug, child. The Pope. Macedra, I should say, left of his own accord. Abandoning his duty to both the Empire and his followers. What, pray tell, would you call such a man? Pretty irresponsible, if what you're saying is true. Irresponsible is one word, and still there are so many fools out there who trust in such a coward. The Knights, for example. In order to bring the people together, we must find Macedra and give him his due punishment. Punishment? Yes, the same punishment that befell those uncivil enough to mistrust me. Then we have a problem. We need the Pope to tell us the meaning of the inscription. Why? Cooperate with me and it won't be necessary. I need to know. No matter what. Ah, I see. 
That's very unfortunate. So then you mean to say... What the... My body! That you reject my vision! Saray! <sighs> Let's go! We're leaving. <laughs> What? They broke through my domain and connected with the Seraphim, if only just for a moment. Oh, will I relish this. the spectral cloak <laughs> you've been practicing in secret haven't you that was sweet we'll talk later we've got to flee to the Knight's Tower this aroma You go on ahead. Uh, okay. The Pope fled of his own volition? I'm sorry I couldn't get more details. We were sort of running for our lives. No, that is more than enough. I'm just relieved that you weren't captured. Thanks for saving us back there. It's the least I could do. Seraph Miklio, my humble admiration for your bravery. It's nothing, really. It is nothing. All you did was blind her temporarily. We have to do something about her domain. Those powers might help. Let's get the Pope to decipher that inscription. That'll be tough if we don't know where he is. The Knights have been hunting him for a year now with no success. Yeah, but they were assuming the whole time that the Cardinal was behind the disappearance. Guess what? I think I know where Popadope might be. You do? The village of Gadadin on the southern part of the continent. We won't know for sure until we check it out, of course. How did you get that information? Well, let's just call it an industry secret. You know how it is. Of course. I should have expected no less from the wife of the Shepherd. Let us send a search team to Gadadin. Hold on a minute. The Cardinal already expects that our side will be searching for the Pope. A highly visible squadron of knights would essentially be a bright pink arrow pointed straight at him. However... We can operate covertly in small numbers. Let us handle Gadadin. But that's far too much to ask. Chill, Captain, we got this. What is it they say? Pope springs eternal? Abandon Pope! All ye who, er, uh, don't go to Gadadin. Okay, settle down. My thanks, gentle shepherd. Actually, as for what you can do in return, do you suppose we could get a pass to Rollins? I might be mistaken for an ally of the Highland Army otherwise. I have seen for myself the quality of your character. I shall prepare it immediately. Thank you. That's a load off my mind. There is something I would like to impart to you as well. Would you please step outside for a moment? Do you remember the art I used? 
when we fought against one another. That is the Lion's Howl, an art passed down through our band of knights. I and my younger brother Boris are the only ones alive who know it. But now I pass it to you as well. Wilt thou accept? Yes. Fast learner. I must apologize if this feeble art is all an oaf like me may offer you. Don't say that. It's incredible. Thank you so much, Captain Sergei. You and I stand as equals. You may call me Sergei. Then you may call me Sarei. Sarei, I am loath to believe the Pope just abandoned his post on us. But I also sense that there may be another side to this unfortunate story. I understand. We'll find the Pope and come back with the truth. Godspeed. Rose, was it the scattered bones who found the information on the Pope? Maybe. Seeing where the church's money was going gave us a little hint. That's what I thought. You guys sure don't operate in the same way that the knights do. Of course not! An Assassin's Guild can't function without proper intel. Assassins, right. Here is your pass, Soray. Thank you. Our travel should be much easier now. I wish it were so, but we've received word that Byroclef Ridge, which leads to Gadotten, has been blocked by rock slides. We could have been on the ridge right now. If only we'd been a little bolder. Rose! My punchline! What's the plan? You'll have to go through Cambria Caverns, south of the Meadow of Triumph. An underground passage, huh? No problem! <laughs> That's your thing, isn't it? You bet it is!
What's that? Is it one of the Cardinal's guards? Saray, we have to trick the guard into thinking we're not here somehow. We made it! Think we lost the Cardinal with that? I sure hope so. Ugh, I ate too much today. My stomach's all achy. Oh my, you shouldn't stuff yourself like that, Rose. By the way, I was curious. Can Seraphim get upset stomachs or gain weight? To say it in a fairy tale sort of way, your thoughts become reality. What's that supposed to mean? We won't gain weight from consuming calories, but we will from thinking, I'll gain weight if I eat this much. Whoa! So does that mean you'll be okay as long as you don't think like that? No. Denying the reality of things leads to malevolence. A Seraph must not be detached from reality. So at the end of it all, you could say we're the same as humans. This is so confusing! It's around here, right? The caverns or whatever, I mean. Cambria Caverns. He said they were south of the Meadow of Triumph. Riding on looks way fun. Fun? That's a Hellion, you know. It shoots stuff out from its artillery. Prepare yourself! Stay for the This is it! Return to war! When it's go time, we go all the way! Overdo it and you'll just exhaust yourself, Saray. All things in moderation, as they say.
There must be herbs around here. Do you really think we can get through this way? Don't worry. There's nothing in the universe cooler than a secret passageway. Especially one underground. Totally! A maze of twisty little passages with exits galore to who knows where! Like the back of a waterfall, or the bottom of an old abandoned well. Yes! Miklio gets it! Glad someone gets it, because I don't. I don't want to get it. <laughs> Boys just love things like this. In this case, I don't know about boys so much as... Children, right? carefully at the ground.
I think we're close to the exit. Probably. Did you feel it too? The wind? I think I kind of did. Spoke too soon. A hell yeah! You're in help! What is it doing in a place like this? Is it bird or beast? Yeah, the last thing we need is a bunch of flocking griffins. Rose, a nice young lady really shouldn't. Uh, come on! I didn't mean it like that. Choose your birds more carefully. Echo shot! Shining here! Echo shot! You were quite strong, but we're no pushovers either. You are not ready to command the wind yet. I hate the wind. Huh? You all right? I just slipped is all. Boy, we can't take Lady Edna anywhere, can we? Lady Mebo is talking. Serene, so I'm ready. Troy, even their weapons are just huge. That makes them slow to move. Don't get caught by these claws. Looks like we win! Let's get this over! An aged trend. Like it sounds, it's quite old. I'm getting old just listening to your explanation. Everyone okay? There may be some herbs out here. Be on the lookout for them. Saray, look around you. There might be something nearby. It seems there's a treasure chest near us. Two legs is too much. That's just your bias. Are million feeds like rich centipedes? I don't even... It's 
should be quelled for now. Are you okay, Lila? Yes, I'm fine. Better than us, probably. Your sparks were flying everywhere, and my dress nearly caught on fire. I'm sorry, I should have warned you. When you're around a fire, Seraph, you're in for no danger. <sighs> I set her up for that one, didn't I? Oh, like, inferno danger. <laughs> you noticed. Oh, crap, why am I explaining your dumb jokes? <laughs> You're incredible, Lila. In, In more, more ways, ways than, than one.
this aroma. Yeah! Let's get them before they fly away. That goose blew the chicken coop. That doesn't quite make sense. Saray? Saray, look around you. 